Oh yeah, black sun in the hizzle, all oh, for shizzle dizzle. We got an excellent show here today, but first I'm going to say the views and opinions and that of the arena does not reflect that of Comcast, its staff, or affiliates. And the views of Black Sun does not reflect that of the arena. We are a council. And the views of White Sun, let me explain. I represent the good old boys. <laughs> Never meaning no harm. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> to my right. right. <laughs> Introduce yourself, sweetie. Good afternoon. My name is Penny Rogers, owner of WCEG Talk Radio here in Atlanta. All right, all right. And that be your brother, Rat Chill, get down in the house, Rat Chill, in the arena, uncensored. Welcome, welcome. You know who I am, Vincent Cheeks, a.k.a. Ghetto Messiah, Ghetto actor, Messiah. entertainer, activist, all around good person. That is I. Um, thank you, everyone, for being here today. Thank you. Penny, thank you for coming on. Uh, from WCEGtalkradio.com. Mm. And hopefully you'll be able to find Ghetto Messiah within the next month at WCEGtalkradio.com. So y'all tune in. Tuesday, 6 to 8, right? That's what we're working eight, on? Yes. Okay, that's what we're working on. Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to that, Penny. So am I. Um, all right, we have a great topic uh, this afternoon, it's been going on in the news for about two or three weeks wow. or so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's Kim Davis, you might have heard the name. Mm -hmm. uh, she is the 50 year old county clerk from Rowan County, Kentucky. Good old Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah. She gained national media attention after defying a federal court order requiring that she issue marriage license following the Supreme Court decision in. Obergefell v. Hodges at the end of June. We did a show on that, right? That's right. Um, <clears throat> which held there is a right to same-sex marriage guaranteed by the 14th Amendment. In August, she refused a license to David Moore and David Ermold, a same-sex couple, as well as three other couples, two of which were heterosexual. Mm. So that I don't understand. And, we can get into that. I think she probably did it to cover herself, saying we're not issuing right. no license. Right, no right, license right, today, right. right. She did, because I saw the video of that. Right. You're, you're absolutely yeah. right. Mm -hmm. she, it's a she slick, yeah. smart, right? Yeah. She's yeah. pretty yeah. smart. Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, so David Moore and David Ermo, same-sex couple, uh, she denied them and three other couples, two of which were heterosexual. In Miller v. Davis, the ensuing lawsuit, the district court for the Eastern District of Kentucky ordered Davis to issue licenses required by law. Hmm. Required by law. Required that's, that's by key law. There. Uh, Ms. Davis appealed. Her appeal was denied. She continued to defy, to defy court orders and deny licenses, saying she was acting under the authority of God. God himself. She was held in contempt of court by the judge, and she was jailed for five days uh, in contempt, and I believe she recently got out yes. two or three days ago. Yes. Exactly. And exactly. they held this big rally for Mike her. Mike Huckabee. Which mm -hmm. Mike Huckabee. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Mike Huckabee, I'm glad you mentioned him. The views opinion of Black Sun doesn't affect the right? Stupid idiot. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> 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 After she was released from jail, Mike Huckabee and some others, Rand Paul, Kentucky Senator, and Ted Cruz, Senator from Texas, all threw her this big rally to support her. You and said Rand Paul? Rand Paul. Okay. From Kentucky. Yeah, let's hear these names here. Uh, right, exactly. Yeah. Um, and so Huckabee organized this rally for her, and he basically said that Davis is part of the criminaliz criminalization of Christianity. Mm. So, let's dive into this discussion. Okay. My first question to the panel is, simple question. Is she right or is she wrong for denying same-sex licenses? Let's start with the lady yes. on Thank the you, panel. Thank you, please. Thank you. Let's I start with the lady to on the myself panel. Here. Yes. I do believe that based on the Constitution for Equal Rights and the Supreme Court passing down the law, it wasn't changed in the Bible. The, the law was not changing your, what you believe in as a Christian or, or, or whatever your religious per preference is. And I do believe that insubordination is just insubordination. Right. And I feel that if she wanted to keep her job, you do what you're asked to do. And if mm -hmm. you have a problem with your job description, then you either need to take that up with your boss, but you should not allow, allow that to flow over into your work area and people coming in for service. 
It's point blank. So right or wrong? Wrong. Wrong. She was okay. just wrong. She was just, just wanted to be clear. Just wrong. Okay. Wanna, anybody want to follow up? You want to follow Elder? Me? You know, I know you already. <laughs> well, in reality, uh, certainly the issue of uh, having an employer is, and the employer having certain criteria that in within that framework, you should allow uh, yourself to be subject to the people that are signing your checks. And okay. if the checks are, uh, this is the issue. She has the option to quit her job, and okay. uh, she's not going to do that. She's not going to do that. Wait, uh, whoa, wait a minute! She's not quitting her job. No. Well, she's not being fired. She's not, she's being, not being fired. I'm gonna get. We're gonna get to oh, the okay. fire oh, yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. but okay. she's not. Okay. She's Let's not. Re- she's not resigning. And to your point about her check, she makes eighty k a year. <laughs> <laughs> you jump about this? She, 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 she makes eighty k a year. Mm. Um, for being the county clerk, but go ahead. Get but it. see, this is the point in reference to belief uh, versus being subject to a white supremacist regime. Okay. Uh, the laws of our creator, for those who of us who are believers, indicates that the uh, relationship between a man and a woman is what is sanctified and holy. But the relationship, if a man and a man wants to have a relationship and a woman and a woman, it's an abominable act between those based two. Based on God, right? Be- based on biblical belief. Belief, okay. Like exactly. That, right. Not cutting you off, no, but that ahead. abomination entails a lot of other sins and not just same-sex sins. Right. I mean, it's abomination is abomination and not specifically for the gay community. See, this right. is That's what people have to understand. Let me say this. You know what the niggers don't understand? Oh, we no, have a thing no, called no. federal law here. Yeah, federal right. law, I don't care what your belief is, whether it be pornography or fornication <laughs> or homosexuality, you break a federal law, you're going to jail. Well, therein lies uh, what we have to do for those of us who are biblical enthusiasts and, and believers. Mm-hmm. There's going to be times where, like Daniel, Azariah, Mishael, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego mm-hmm. uh, were in Babylon, and the law was that you should bow down, down when the music is played. Mm-hmm. And because they believed in a different God, i.e. the God of my forefathers, mm-hmm. they said no. And they said, either you bow down or we're going to put you in this fiery furnace. furnace. Mm-hmm. And they chose the furnace. So, so why again, did Master Bisha and the Bengal decide they want to choose to live in that city, Gideon. That's what I don't understand. Well, they were chosen by the king because they were children of the the wise. They were children of the the, the great among our people, and they were called in to minister to the king of Babylon. So again, you do have the option in a system of uh, debauchery. <clears throat> And and uh, all okay, types you, of you say debauchery. That's, that's yes, why I sir. hate that Don's not on the show. You where we be the deviants, debauchery. We all pay taxes, Gideon. Okay, so that system is supposed to represent everybody. Everybody don't believe in Yahshua. Everybody right. don't believe in Allah. Right. Right. Some of us might believe in the pink unicorn <laughs> in the trunk of my car that spits out five dollar bills. <laughs> the point that I'm making is I'm a taxpayer just like you, so I don't want your personal beliefs, beliefs right. imposed on me because I pay taxes. I've said from day one, if you don't like what the homosexuals are doing, don't tax them. But you know, the capitalists ain't gonna go for that, are they? Well, see, this is the belief. This is the thing about belief. It not it isn't relegated to finance. <clears throat> it is relegated to what one's principles and the foundation of one's right. upbringing and what Every. creates the framework of one's sensibility. Mm-hmm. So right. Share? Okay, go ahead. But do I mean, and I, to the point that Black is trying to make, we all come from different backgrounds and different exactly. perspectives. Mm-hmm. So why should the Bible and mm-hmm. Christianity trump? anyone else's beliefs that's right. when it well, comes down to that's gay. an excellent question and that uh, that can be answered in the court system the courts of america was based on the biblical principles i.e where in pa- times past you had to actually place your hand on, on the, the bible, bible right. before you went be- to get sworn in before right. you went before the judiciary now what they have done because 
the mores of this country is collapsing like the financial corrupt system that it is, <laughs> they have changed it where they no longer use the Bible, but there are people who are older and have been uh, you know, based in a financial, in a, in a spiritual belief that the Bible still has relevance in their lives. But I do agree with Debbie, I mean Penny, when she said that she had the option to quit her job. Plus two, I have um, worked with, and I am a Christian, okay. um, my, my relief religious, I'm, I'm Baptist, but when it comes to Christianity, when it comes to the workplace, you have to make a decision before you even go to your workplace. If right. this is something that's against your belief, so if you know that you may be involved with something in your responsibilities, <clears throat> right. I think that you need to make a decision before you go and accept that job. And if you have a problem with issuing licenses or whatever it is, you either, if you're not gonna quit your job, ask to be placed in another area of responsibility. And then you're being paid to do a job. And I have, uh, I have my beliefs, but the Constitution, but when the Supreme Court uh, rules yes. uh, in favor uh, that people should be treated equal. I mean, first of all, I'm not going to get off on how the, this color get left out when it came time for the <laughs> Thank you. However, right. even though they did change, you know, and, and give uh, the LGB community certain rights and equal rights, I'm just still looking at the fact that those are rights. It doesn't change the Bible. It doesn't change what God uh, and what we believe in. But if it's a job, it's a job. So you need to think about that before you go, because I used to work, and uh, right quick, go ahead, I'm, I'm going to be ahead, brief. Go ahead, go ahead. One of my, um, uh, one of the deacons, um, mm -hmm. who's deceased now that, at a church that I attend at my church, he had a job driving one of the beverage trucks. Okay. That was before he came, uh, became, moved up as a deacon. Okay. But he knew that he had a problem with that, and the brother went out and found another job. Right. Before he moved up in terms of being an officer in the church, but he had a problem with it. It was right. supporting his family, but he knew that it wasn't kind of what he wanted to do, but it was paying the bills. Right. But he went out and found another job, well, let me say working this. in tools and something other stuff. Right. So. Let me say this in Gideon's <laughs> argument. Now, I understand, because he's coming from an old school perspective, saying when that clerk got that job, they weren't issuing gay licenses. A so devolution. what I want to do mm -hmm. is go jump real quick to the Muslim woman. Mm -hmm who refused to serve alcoholic beverages mm -hmm. on the airlines. Now, Cherie it, Stanley. Yes. Mm -hmm. What they think? Go ahead, give us some alcohol. give us an update on that. Right, so um Cherie Stanley is a Muslim young woman. Um, she is now suing her employer Express Jet mm -hmm. for putting her on a 12-month unpaid leave mm. for refusing to serve alcohol on her job. Now, <clears throat> Cherie's backstory is she converted to Islam mm -hmm. two years ago. Mm -hmm. Before a job. She's been working for ExpressJet for three years. Mm. So she's been there three years. She converted two years ago. Mm -hmm. She says she only found out this year that it was against her religion oh, to drink, <laughs> buy, serve, or even carry alcohol. Mm. So, which brings me to this question about yes. Sharif. Right. And it's kind of <clears throat> to your point that you were just making. She's been with this company for three years. Right. She converted to Islam okay. two years ago. Mm -hmm. This year, mm -hmm. she found out these restrictions. Right. So my thing is, Maybe she should have did a little bit more research into Islam before, before you know, taking that on, and yes. then she would have known these restrictions that she had, and then she could have made a decision between, do I really want to pursue this Absolutely. with Islam, or because I know it's going to cause a conflict with my job Absolutely. now. But wait do a I minute now. Let me jump in here because what we have in America is this thing called freedom of religion. Okay. So okay. they claim. They right, say right. that you have the right, if you look at the Georgia uh, preamble or its uh, constitution, if you look at the constitution period, uh -huh. they say you have the right to freedom of religion. Mm -hmm. So that seems to me that if you are a taxpayer, right. quote unquote, <laughs> right. and you should, and your this document called the constitution gives you the right to practice your religion, right. then they should consider that as they no. accept the religious dictates and ideologies of a, a myriad of people who come to this country. Don't okay. Go, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. An individual. Well, I'm, now the, the express jet, when 
uh, Sharif first came to them back in June, beginning of June, saying she had this conflict with mm -hmm. alcohol in her job. Right. Mm -hmm. ExpressJet gave her a religious accommodation, okay. saying that was the only part of her duty she didn't have to do. Okay. Now that was at the beginning of June. Oh, they agreed mm -hmm. to that. Mm -hmm. Right. They expressed that oh. agreed to that. Freedom first, of religion. At the beginning of June. But then uh, they flipped it. They at the <laughs> beginning of August, there was a co worker that complained about Cherie not fulfilling all of her duties. Mm. So then once she made the complaint, um, Express Jet went back and they revoked the Come religious on, accommodation. Wait a minute. They they suspended her for twelve months unpaid. Oh wow. Unpaid. How do you go from we're gonna accept this because okay. and it's not and a big deal. Yeah, That's the only thing she wasn't the doing. Issue was is not her serving, but how they how it they changed reneged. up on the okay, I didn't know that. agreement. See, I didn't write right. On and the then uh, Cherie's attorney, Lena Mazury, uh, with the Michigan chapter of the Council on American Islamic Religion, she said that the complaint was uh, characterized as Islamophobic. And it also said that Ms. Cherie Stanley had a book with foreign writings in it. Oh my and God. And wore a headscarf. <laughs> see now okay. this is but now let's yeah. bring it right to no, Okay, I didn't Go see ahead. this is why I'm so glad we got Vince on the show because yes. he does thorough Did research. research. I didn't yeah. know they reneged. See, I'm oh, yeah, not yeah. one for reneging on a contract. Now they said, look, we want to respect mm -hmm. your religious belief, then mm -hmm. I'm all for that. Right. right. Absolutely. But if you're making eighty K a year and the Supreme Court says this is law. Right. Right. But then so the, what, a, this is America is has is Apple's Apple's But see, this is a pattern of America and those who have its beliefs because they've lied and reneged and far <laughs> <laughs> from with right. uh, from, <laughs> from <laughs> Jump Street. You know I'm, I'm with you. We're talking about a corporation. Right. Uh, well, but see, that, let's right. let's bring it right here to Atlanta. Let's take it down to City Hall. Okay. Remember the uh, police uh, fire chief. Fire chief wrote a oh, book. Yeah, 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 yeah. The book what had in it. Now he wrote it on his own time, his own time. at home, and he the book had some inclinations about sexual deviance and his uh, disdain for that lifestyle. Yeah, well, but, somebody complained. Right. Wait, wait, somebody wait, wait, complained. Wait, 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 let, me, let me say that. Let me, let me say this, Gideon, because now they're firing police officers. They're 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 posting on Facebook. White power of police officers <laughs> joining the Klan, and now they're getting fired. So somebody can use that same example, white power, that yeah. they're in the Klan. Right. The police officers are in the Klan. So you're saying that if this police officer saying bad thing about homosexuals, who's to say, well, we don't want our police officers in the Klan? Well, see, this was a fire chief. Right? This right. is the fire chief. Right, and he's a police and officer. And he is a, 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 a officer. A but servant. then what we're finding is just like the young uh, Tamir Rice. Tamir Rice was a young boy playing in the street with a toy gun. Somebody called, right. and he's dead two seconds two later. Seconds so what we have in, in America is an implosion of its, not only of a devolution of its beliefs, its morals, no, Gideon, the decadence. Hold on, hold on. It is a uh, cesspool of inability to maintain a consistent form of, a belief system period. Now, when you bring in people and tell them they have the freedom to their religion, no matter what it is, but yet you know we have been prejudiced, misused, right. and abused in this system, right. then there's nothing here that is going to be held right. It is the people in power who are the only ones who are gaining, but the people who have beliefs as something as simple as I don't want to use alcohol, that should be uh, ways for them to around that, which is what they did, well, right. what they did right? without right. then turning back on their own word and then putting it off for uh, 12 well, what, months with 12 no months. pay. Go ahead. Well, go, no, I was going to say, well, now that uh, Vince read the facts in the, the stewardess case, I'm, I'm kind of back because I, I, I'm not one for personal grenade on anything. So let's get back to that thing. Declare Kim Davis. Be, yeah, Kim, let's get back to Kim Davis. Oh, Sharice. I, it's, yeah. Look, Sharice is irrelevant now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they, didn't honor, they didn't honor they well, didn't. Right. But they didn't honor it. Well, so they were how about this? Well, how when so did the the person that made the complaint against Sharice, her co-worker. Right. Did, does she not have a valid argument she that, does. that mm -hmm. uh, 
she signed the same list of responsibilities she does. She does. that Sheree signed. Yeah, she, she doesn't. Why not? Why not? Because Giddy? that the job's responsibility is to honor the religious beliefs of anyone that's in within their no, employee. Vince is saying No, I know what he's saying, but right. I'm simply saying as far as her job responsibilities if the uh, supervisor says now then you must take care of this particular yes. function, then she as a employee is supposed to perform what her employers have given her just like the, she didn't have a belief system yeah, yeah. that says that she couldn't do it. That's she just, complained about something that she may not have even been informed about the totality I that the she, job I'm sure had she been. wasn't informed. Exactly. No, 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 but, no, no but let me, let me show you how this looks. Had, let me show you how this right. looks. We all work in a government facility, right? Right. I'm doing my job. Right. Actually, you know what? No. Vince is doing his job. Right. You're doing your job. Right. You're doing your, she's doing, Penny's doing her job. Right. I'm not doing my job. Well, you're doing it, but you may not be doing one oh. function of it that you can't figure out why you're not doing that. No, 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 no. I'm just telling you how this looks. Okay. And you guys are working. Right. You're working from 9 to 5. Yeah. You guys are doing paperwork on the computer, this right, and right, that. Right, 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 right. And I'm not doing as much work as y'all are doing. It, it looks kind of bad. Right. Does it not look bad? Either? But, again, to what he said... It, I've been in corporate America. Right. You know, right. I've, I've been, been in corporate America. America. You know, okay. you're, you're actually not That's supposed to discuss your name. salary. You're exactly. not supposed to discuss your job description. No, but you right. know if a person's working or not if they slacking on the job. Right, but if she went and made a complaint that Sheree wasn't fulfilling her duties, uh, Express Jet simply could have said, we know, right. we, we've discussed oh, the situation right. with okay. Sheree, right. and we've worked out something but and i'll turn appreciate your concern right but it's handled right okay now okay. thank you going on and, and get on back to doing what we told right. you right. to do you know you <laughs> exactly because you, i know you're a christian and you ain't got no problem but see that me. sounds like okay. a setup that sounds like they put her up to it they were waiting on some way to yeah, penalize to her and there. they used that nah, as they, they I, the, no, they that's the way they do it this is my whole issue with this scenario my issue is with Cherie Stanley again you've been working for this company for three years right. so you know all of your job responsibilities exactly Absolutely. a year later you convert right. to Islam right in which one would think you would do the research to know right. what you are allowed and allowed. you wait a whole nother year after you've converted right and then all of a sudden you find out that Oh, I can't drink, <laughs> buy, serve, or even carry alcohol. alcohol. And now it's the company's problem? No, you got a decision to make. That is what I would have told her. You have a decision to make. Because you've been here three years, you've been doing your job. You made the choice to change whatever in your personal Absolutely. life. How is that now going to affect the services you've been providing me for and the past three for, years and, and what we're paying, paying you to do right. exactly. And like, like they tell us, if we have when we go to court, ignorance of the law is it's no, no excuse. excuse. So if you exactly. don't read your handbook or if you don't read that SOP or whatever it is that they give you on your job, see, we, we have to have, we, it's a certain responsibility that we have too. Individual, it's, it's absolutely. Right, and, and see, I was reading this article on Cherie and I was kind of trying, I was trying to feel bad for her. Of course, I really was. Of course. But then I got to the end of the article, and it said this. According to the second chapter of the Quran, anybody know how many chapters in the Quran? Because I don't know. Mm -hmm. But this is the second chapter in the Quran. It states that there is great sin in wine and gambling. Now, this is in the second chapter. Okay. So you've been a part of this organization, this religion, for two years, and you, you don't know. You chapter two. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't made it chapter two yet. So that means you hadn't been studying the Quran. Right. Okay. right. So, and again, how, right. how right. does that uh, responsibility fall into Express Jet's lap right. to now I got to deal with this situation? No, you need to make a decision you about your job. And that was her um, quote. Uh, which I took from this article is she said I don't think I should have to choose between practicing my religion proper, properly or earning a living I shouldn't have to choose between one or the other because they are both important I'm sorry but do you put yourself in a situation that's kind of 
Well, you have to choose. Right. You have to really make decisions because based you, upon what's going to be best for you and your family and right. you and your lifestyle. Like well, I just she's making eighty grand a year. But but like I was <laughs> about and we the, get uh, back there. the brother that, uh, that used to attend church with me <clears throat> when he realized that he did want to move up and he wanted to be an example for his family and for others that he will be serving. He made the decision to go and find another job right. to pay his bills and to take care of his family, so yeah. he would not have to drive a beverage truck. Right. right and right, when right. I'm talking beverage. I'm talking adult beverage trucks. Exactly. Okay. So he, he left his job, but he found another one mm -hmm. before he left the job, though. Right. But you have to make decisions because we all can make any type of excuse or we can all use something in corporate America or in other small businesses right. where we don't agree <clears throat> with the practices. Right. I, I think it's unfair to, and, and they were respecting her enough to allow her religious beliefs not to uh, cause her to not, not to get rid of her or not to have a job, but they gave her the option Okay, well, we'll stop you from doing, I mean, okay, you don't have to do that, but you still have to, but like I say, it could have been a setup, but then you still have now, to be familiar now, Penny, with. Now, Penny, the only thing that I'm afraid of, now this, this is going back to the clerk. See, black people, we the uh, last hire, first fire. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do what everybody like, else right, 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 We can't do it. We can't do it. If that would have been Gideon or Vince or myself refusing right. the license and getting charged. Oh, we've been in jail. Charge. Been right. in jail. Oh, yeah. We did it more than five days. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. And, and fired. Sure. <laughs> and and fired. Right. You well, no, like, can't be fired. I told you we was going to get back to the fire. Oh, right. Well, she elected the, official. The, right. right. See, there you go. She's an oh, elected Go ahead. Oh, right. That did yeah, come yeah, up, yeah. too, about being elected. But then, too, but you have to understand, even with the law, she was just in a position where it, it was just more of a personal kind of thing. Yes, and, and I it was a personal she crusade. Should, she should have made the decision either to be transferred to another type of. No, 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 uh, it's federal, babe. It's all, all right, because it's yeah, appointed, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, but then she just needs to issue the licenses and just get with it. Well, That's see, but you have to understand. It's the law. It's this because is, it's the law. This is political. This is about a stance. This is also the, uh, the moral majority issue. And so she is a, a patriot in her own mind <laughs> in reference to fighting against a corrupt system. Now, on one hand, she's using this particular issue of dealing with deviance, but she's still accepting all of the other corrupt nature of the American system. And she's not, she didn't so, turn in her check. She's not it, giving her check back. Every not time. at all. <laughs> <laughs> not that 80K, what, you feel me? What's her name there? Kim Davis. Well, Kim Davis, I'll tell you what. Did you feel that way? Rile up the rebels, get a good old boy, yeah, oh, start right. another revolution. Go that's right. Civil and war. that's what she, that's who the names that you read off that, that's the Mike, that's Mike, around Mike, her. Yeah. Uh, we got Mike Huckabee. Huckabee. Rand we got Paul. Rand Paul. Rand Paul. Uh, Kentucky Senator. We have Ted, Ted Cruz. Cruz. These are yeah. big we names in politics. These people, when it comes voting time and when it's time to support whatever that they are pushing, right. Look, we need to remember. Ted that. Cruz said that Davis is a victim of judicial tyranny. <laughs> I laughed. Like, I did the same hey, thing. Hey, I laughed when I read that because yeah, I said, I said, judicial only black people, people in exactly. America can talk <laughs> on judicial <laughs> tyranny. <laughs> okay, yeah. do you understand? But they only applied it when the white woman who was standing up. See, again, this is the moral majority. Right, get Freddie Gray. Exactly. Right. right. Get wow. him. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. So back to this firing issue because there was a YouGov survey in which. 65% of the people said that she should resign. Mm -hmm. Wait, she, but she could be impeached, though. I'm getting to that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, appreciate, yeah. I appreciate, okay. I appreciate <laughs> your psychic ability. Just get the head of this. Um, so because Davis is an elected official, she mm -hmm. won office. Uh, she actually got sworn in January 15th mm -hmm. of this year. Okay. okay. Um, oh, not so she that long. Knew. She's new. Oh, she yeah. And oh, she, she won the office <laughs> from her mother. Her mother, oh, her, her, her mother. mother held the seat before. Her. She was the deputy uh, county clerk under her mom. Oh, so mm. now they're passing them jobs. Since 91. That's, since that's, big, big, that's the way they so do it. Since 91. So she's been in the system since she, 91. Oh, so it's good that a light's been shining on this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so right. when her mother retired, she decided to run. Uh, and she won by a good percentage mm -hmm. uh, under the Democratic ticket. And so because she was elected, she's a Democrat. On, on I was the, just about to ask she you ran. I think she switched to run under the Democratic 
ticket is mm. what it said. Mm. Some more, some, yeah, some more yeah, tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tricks. Yes, oh, pile tricks. tricks. Yes. That's all it is. That's <laughs> it. And, so, <laughs> and so because Davis is an elected official, she cannot simply be, be fired. fired. Uh -huh. She has to be impeached by the Kentucky House of Representatives mm -hmm. and then tried in the Kentucky Senate, which they said is a very unlikely scenario well who's it who's well, in control in the senate now well, the me, democrats well, 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 let me ask the people that probably work with her mother absolutely let me ask one question it's a very right. important question everybody's missing okay when you violate a federal law that's a felony right that it is. Watch out. That's it what is. they Feds say. Feds don't deal with misdemeanors. Watch out. Right. Well, yeah, that's what they say. No, 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 no. This say. is a fact, Gideon. Mm. Feds don't deal with misdemeanors. Okay. I, yeah, fact. yeah, yeah. I thought, okay, go ahead. Right, right. So, okay, right, so, so we got a convicted felon office fish. We're here. Still running. Well, but she's, still, she's, going to, I mean, she's going to get convicted. But see, this is the issue. If she works out a deal, she's going to get convicted. What you're li looking at not only is nepotism, mm -hmm. you're yep. looking at white supremacy at its best, at its finest. You're looking at how they're able to ostracize us and keep us out of no, certain no, no, positions. No, 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 no. Absolutely. There is no way around her getting around that federal mandate, Gideon. Mm-hmm. That light's on her. Yeah, so she not can't get around that. You say that there's no way, but you know with the system that we have to deal with. Right. Yeah, they'll find a loophole. Favoritism. No, if, a loophole. If, if it's done in the dark, but it's too much right. out in the light. Well, it, don't, it don't matter about the light because she because got people like Mike Huckabee and Thank Ted you. Cruz Thank and Rand Paul supporting her. And they got thousands right, but behind But do you know them. how much power they have behind her to exactly. get this woman out and of do whatever? do you know how much power the homosexual got in this community? They got a lot of guys. All right, right power, absolutely. Man. All right, please. But they, they, they haven't had enough power to get her fired or get her out of that position. remember Right, but they have but but. So what can they do? Get her convicted. Absolutely. Convicted so with a felony. Absolutely. The condition of her being released uh, a couple of days ago was that she can no longer impede others in her ah, office from right. issuing licenses. She don't have to issue them herself, which why? I don't understand okay, because so it's still part of her job. It's still yeah. part of her job. Oh, but she so can't impede the other now, They, they, they put another right. person oh, in oh, that oh, position. What Vince failed to mention was the minute she got arrested, her mm -hmm. co-worker started issuing out license. Right. <laughs> they they did. Absolutely. They, they, they did. got on it. Yes. They were like, absolutely. Yeah. Right. They passed absolutely. them out like hotcakes. Well, see, that, that part. <laughs> well, let's get back around to the belief system because what we're talking about here, again, is a belief. And in, in religious dogma, there's just like when we were talking about in Islam where she found out that she wasn't supposed to deal with alcohol. <laughs> right. Once right, you right. get into the system of beliefs, there are going to be many impediments to what this system is devolving into when people who have been raised up with a certain pattern of morality are not going to accept. So, but you yet yeah, you but, have but, high, people in high positions who are believers, and you have people in high positions who are deviants and who have right. deviated from the uh, the basis of but, what this country you know what? says it was founded. But you on. know what gives a belief its backbone? The majority of people who go along with that belief. Now, me. I got the greatest belief of all. I believe there's a pink unicorn in my car that spits out $5 bills. Right. But because it's not a popular belief, right. it holds no weight. Now, right. Christians had the most dominant once upon a time in your era, mm -hmm. the McCarthy era. Right. But now that's no longer the major belief. I'm right. sorry to say, but right. the homosexuals override that belief. They believe in their human rights. I know we were going to deal with the universal Declaration of Human yeah. Rights there. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That overrides any Islamic belief, any Christian belief, any the pink unicorn in the car belief right. in America. And they got the federal government backing it, Gideon. And the this federal is government why. doesn't back that you Hebrew is like. Exactly. Or that Jesus died three days and was rose again. Yeah, exactly. The government don't back that. That's okay? right. That's so they, right. they're going to back what the majority says. The majority overrides these individual states. Well, see, it's not the majority. Just like we saw in the well, Bush-Gore no, 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 no. election, Gore won the majority of the popular vote, but it was the Electoral We're College that got him elected. So what we are finding, no, the illusion that got no, him elected. Okay. So it's true. The point is, it's not the majority. No, 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 get it. Right, no, get right, right, right. no, what, what you miss is that the majority of people feel that homosexuality is a human right. Deny that. Okay, let's, get, right. let's, get, into let's, get, into let's get into human rights. I have here the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And I'm just read the first two paragraphs. 
Whereas recognition of the inherent dignity and of the equal and inalienable right. rights of all members of the human family is the foundation of freedom, justice, and peace in the world. Whereas disregard and contempt for human rights have resulted in barbarous acts which have outraged the conscience of mankind. In the advent of a world in which human beings shall enjoy freedom of speech and belief and freedom, of, and freedom from fear and want has been proclaimed as the highest aspiration of the common people. So my question to the panel is, do not gay people have these same human rights? Ooh, ask me, please ask me first. I believe that they should, that LG, the LGB community should have equal rights. Right. But I'm still going back to what I said at first. If that's all about it, the human rights, why can't we get human rights? Thank you. I'm Thank you. Keep it real. Keep it real. No, no, but that's a valid point. I'm very valid. Come on now. You know. Can I ask you a Go ahead. Can I ask you the difference between black people and the LGBT is that black people be like, oh, voting don't work. You took, the homosexuals do not. They, they, they go in there right. and, and they, they go and they, they organize. Go and they organize and they, they give. They we back, sit up there like, they, they raise money. Jesus going to save us. Oh, y'all's gonna come down and get what, man? That's that. That's the man. That's the difference. Okay. That's the no, See, no, we did no, back in no. Martin Luther King time. When the goddamn you had Bull Connor, white power, Bull Connor, boy, all type of uh, 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 Jim Crowism, right. we George Wallace, them. well George Wallace, white mm -hmm. segregation, mm -hmm. now. Yeah. segregation yeah. tomorrow, yeah. yeah. segregation yeah. forever. Yeah. But I'm yeah. still looking at the fact, even too, that even though we just was remembering uh, the 9/11, right. right. Slaves have been beaten for how many years? Come on, five hundred fifty years. Yeah. I mean, but we saying don't forget. I mean, don't uh, don't forget. Well, well about remembering nine eleven. Right. But Never we forget. failed to forget slavery. Oh no, forget and, that now. Forget that. No, 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 no. no. But Penny, we're not pushing. See, it's one thing to march and scream out loud and fall out, have fallings, but it's another thing to do action. We don't come together as a people and act because we got elders. Talking about voting doesn't work, ain't that right, Gideon? <laughs> <laughs> Great segue there, Black. <laughs> Let me jump in here because there's a problem within our race too, Absolutely. and, and uh, uh, for our culture, just not even trying to make a difference or thinking that we can come together to make a difference. I'm going to ask right. you a factual people. question, as far as on, on on the food scale, has a homosexuals passed the black people on the food scale? Absolutely. Yeah. I wonder why. Absolutely. Let me jump in here, why. man. Because because of, they're more organized of, politically. And, they are, and, and it's, a, it's a variety, it's diverse. It's a diversity there amongst races. And, and, an I, and the black people still get poo pooed well, on in the LGBT community. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Hey, 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 that's what hey, 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 Shout out to Don. Well, see, this, <laughs> hey, Don, peace and blessings, baby girl. <laughs> see, this is the issue right here. When we look at the history of Jim Crow, mm -hmm. black codes, hanging, lynchings, lying, cheating, uh, the molestations, the mutilations. Obviously for you black, because you may have disconnected yourself from the historical no. facts associated with the debauchery and <laughs> the <laughs> mutilation of our people, you gonna go on and support these killers. But there are many of them, wait a minute, hold on. No, no, <laughs> see, at the end of the day, see you have to look at, this reality is something that is embedded in our DNA, that it makes us shy away from the lies, from the misconceptions that they have, and the propaganda that has been promulgated against us. So when we look at, when uh, we talk about trying to elevate ourselves as a people, mm -hmm. there has been action. That action, however, has not encapsulated the entirety the of our community because of the propaganda that has been promoted and pushed on us that makes us think that white is better, their ice is colder, like their Bible. communities are better. Like your Bible. So, uh, no, like your Bible. no, the, the Bible, Bible is an antithesis of that fact. So the, the issue of the, uh, the transforming of our minds from an indigenous, powerful, royal people to a subjugated slave, uh, subjugate, uh, surrogate for white people is a very, uh, it's a very difficult road to travel when you've had 400 years of this type of uh, imprisonment, miseducation, uh, uh, the mutilation, the 
the experimentation and all the other tations that I can come up with <laughs> that have been done to us. So again, when we talk about it, and when we talk about it, we just have to look at our people want we want to love each other. We want to reflect and respect this system. If you look at the uh, statistics, black women vote for these killers more than any other demographic, even right. more than white women. So right. what are you giving them? So what I'm telling you is when you say we don't vote is a lie. We are voting for these killers. We are supporting them. It is our taxes and our ingenuity and intellect that raised this country to what it is today. Mm -hmm. The key thing is that what we haven't done, we haven't fought for our God. We haven't fought for our history. No, we stopped teaching our children. Nothing. We stopped teaching you our children about nothing. us and start teaching them about them because it was forced on us because of places like Auburn Avenue, mm -hmm. Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, the oh, other let me, play, let me say something about Philadelphia. Oh, let me say something about Tulsa, oh, Oklahoma, Auburn, and 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 and, 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 and Rosewood. Rosewood, thank Those you. Those were bourgeoisie Negroes, that and they still them. got bombed out. Right, they got bombed out because they didn't. First of all, they didn't have that militant element, and they never talked about in child his Zango the proletariat. Meaning the poor blacks. Absolutely. Because trust me, if they would have had poor blacks on the inside, they would have had a militant side. Those whites, those poor whites, would have never attacked the militant blacks. Well, never absolutely. Did. Oh, See, understand no, this: no. the richest among so us, the no, richest right. among us, is a poor person in re relation to the uh, thousands of years of monetary gain and exploitation that white folks have. So when we, the middle class or the so-called rich among our people are nothing but poor Negroes trying to act white. So oh, to agree, say that uh, these people have shown our genius, our ability to work together, but the fact agree. that we do want to c come together as a community and um, uh, Marcus see? Messiah Garvey showed through his exchange from America, we bought ships, we were able to, so my point is, when you say we don't want to come together, that's a lie. We do want no, to come no, 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 no. There are I, There no, are, no, 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 there no, are no. agent provocateurs that infiltrate, and just like with uh, MLK, they shown they, there were special agents that were in, put into those groups Where to help MLK to create. Was right. Malcolm X, uh, Marcus Messiah Garvey, Yahshua had, uh, a Judas, Judas uh, come right. on, man. There's always going to be a provocateur, but and you said a lot of excellent, brilliant points as you always do, Elder Gideon. But you failed to answer my question. And the question what? was the question was: Are they human? Do gay are gay people entitled to the Universal Decla Declaration of Human Rights? Absolutely, Absolutely. not. The sexual deviants have they they already white, and the ones that are white. They already got super rights. They are already afforded all the rights that any other human has. And to make that sexuality a point of differing them from anybody else is an issue that talks of, to the devolution well, of the American the, morality. The Declaration of Human Rights is For humans. actually talking about including them. We, why, I mean, they already why, why, them. I mean, but why? Because that sexuality doesn't they, change their humanality. That's my point. They're already wait, included what? in these rights. So to highlight one's sexuality as a, a tool to say that I'm somehow, because I'm a deviant, nobody cares what you do in your bedroom. I only care if you force it in my face and then tell me you got to accept this from me. Because whatever you were doing, you were doing this in just start yesterday. Okay, but, but Gideon, and this goes back to the last uh, the, the show we did. We had Don on here. We had some other guests. The homosexuals, when you have two partners and those two are working, okay, they have what they call uh, medical benefits, benefits, dental benefits. And I so when one that. person's mm -hmm. died, they should be able to give their working inheritance Absolutely. to their partner. They can. It's too many cases. It's too many they cases if they're, not they married. Married. if they're not married. Right. Well, they there's can't. a no, such a thing. Well, there is a, no, well, there is a no. document called a will. No, 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 no. no. Yes, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. No, 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 no. There is a to, document those called a will. Your personal effects, but if it comes to your benefits. job giving yes. you your yes. benefits, yes. Yes. it's oh. not recognized that common law kind of thing. Right. It's not recognized well, even right. with heterosexual relationships. They changed relationship. that. They changed yeah, that. Because right. common law right. was recognized. Right, absolutely. So they that's changed why it. it. What? 
what the fight was. On your insurance, you can put on your insurance who you no, want. You no, can no, 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 no. You, you have, have to be, be married. Spouse. You have to be. Spouse. I cannot. If, I I, in if me and Penny are dating, right, right, we're dating, right. I cannot put her on my dental insurance unless we're, we're married. Right. Only be, absolutely. Now, absolutely. now, now I fact. agree. That's on, that is a fact right. because. The, but why insurance. is that? Because the white man system is designed to control you. And that's if why you LGBT are working for back. a person. And that's why I was telling Penny, that's why the LGBT me, fought back. They're like, no, this is these are my wages. This is my what partner. They earn, I don't want to I don't be entitled. I definitely don't agree with the statement he just made about gay people not being entitled to the Declaration right, of the, Human you, Rights. Right, right. I, because I believe as a person, you have the right to make your own personal decision. And if you're not harming anyone else, you're consensual adults, then no one else outside of you and your circle should have a say in how you conduct yourself. Let me say Well, it's been that way. See, to my atheist brothers and sisters, that's the difference between spirituality and organized religion. <laughs> well, no. Let me. Hold on. I'm going to throw this out at you, and then I want, you to, ask, I want you to respond. Cause yes, sir. The uh, organization Planting Peace, anybody heard of that organization? No. Planting Peace is a nonprofit organization that advocates for the LGBTQ rights community. Right. They erected a billboard in Kim Davis's hometown which reads, Dear Kim Davis, the fact that you can't sell your daughter for three goats and a cow means we've already <laughs> redefined <laughs> marriage. Okay? So, how do you answer that? get in because That's in this Bible. is this is right specifically important to the Bible it says that you can but the daughter I, I want to deal with this but mm -hmm. I want to ask you this very commonsensical question okay. I want to ask all of you okay you just outlined it you made it very plain plain and sincere you said I don't believe I believe that these deviants should be allowed <laughs> 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 Yeah, you need to stop, man. No, you stop. I don't think I used oh, the word yeah. deviant. Let's, let's start there, Gideon. But go ahead and paraphrase some more. Go ahead. No, that they should. Why isn't it that they couldn't attack the system to include, since we all have the same human rights, so we right. should want that, right. to include it without them having to go to some man to say that not only this piece of paper says that we have an agreement. So therefore, now I can put this person on my insurance. Right. Why couldn't it be? Why couldn't they fight the system to say, if I'm an employee, I'm it's my job and my insurance. No matter who I choose to put on it, I should be able to put whoever I want on my insurance, despite uh, who you think they are in my relationship. Because I'm paying for it. Right. And it's coming out of my wages. Right. Right. Had they fought for? Does that make sense to you that they should have fought? For the right to put I whoever they want. Right, uh, no, listen. That's I'm just asking right. the question. I mean, you. I mean, you're, I, mean I, I kind of understand what you're saying, but again, you're dictating their fight for right. them. You, you know what I mean? No, no, no. I'm, I'm simply saying I'm, to I'm trying to give you the rationale as to the impetus for fighting for total human rights versus a sexualized version of those rights. No, well, you keep you, saying you, sexualized. Right. Saying well, they they're calling LGBT is a term based on <laughs> their sexuality. Right, to identify right, th their commonality that they have. But first and foremost, it's about economics. But you didn't answer my question. I asked a you very answer specific question. question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're dodging the question. I said the fight, and, and Vince, he kind of right. sideswiped me and said, well, you, you can't direct that fight. <laughs> but right. I'm just simply saying... Would that not be a more holistic approach to dealing with the totality of human rights? I disagree. I, 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 disagree. I think that would have been a better starting point for them um, to specifically attack that obstacle which is hindering them the most, which is the benefits, because that's but always... They have to go Bingo! Out, what, what effect that's an intellect right there. You had, no, hold on, hold on. You had too many gay couples where, you know, after the person died, they finally come in and take all Well, yeah. Take, that's right. where the so will that's comes in. Right. That's an immediate need. You're right. That's an immediate You're right. need. I mean, and I, and I agree with um, them having the right to marry, because just from the case... Uh, 
Oh, Bergefell v. Uh, what is it called? I don't forgot the name, but the the case that kicked off this whole thing, the man wanted his his partner's benefits right. after he died Absolutely. from a, a, a pretty serious uh, complication. Right. And so, since he couldn't just go in and say, "This has been my partner for," I think they'd been together ten, fifteen, almost twenty. However years. many years. Right. So why wouldn't they? go for this right. the declaration of human rights which under the umbrella of this that's what, what you're talking about would fall right as opposed you know you're saying just to specifically attack the the whole the, corporations the, and the, the benefits the insurance industry, insurance industry and the right. political process and i want to hear uh, well, penny's be, perspective but this, but this falls this it encompasses, encompasses all of that it though. encompasses all humans See, it doesn't, the, the well, it's issue, supposed to come without him. Well, right, it's right, supposed right. to, right. but what they've done in, a, in order for them to have the ability to control us, they say, well, unless you've gone to a magistrate right. in a legal proceeding, but had they looked at it from the original perspective of common law, then not only would they be protected. No, states don't recognize common law. I, they, they used to. They used, used to. In, in Georgia, this is my point. Right. Used this is to. where the never battle. Never this never is where the battle should be. No. The holistic approach is that you're already human. You should already have human rights. The will should, should be able to protect. Word, no, it is. Should, it's no, should, that's no, what. That's my point. No, no, no. It, the will should be able to protect your benefits in death, and you should be able because you're a free agent. Put on I, your. Uh, benefits whoever you want to. The Declaration now, of Human but, Rights was okay. I'm gonna, yeah, no, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The Declaration of Human Rights is a very new document, Gideon, as of World War II, 1943. Okay, you had nations like China, uh, Afghanistan, South America all come together because you had you know, a lot of people don't want to talk about how the Catholic Church backed this fascism, okay, right. and how theocracies and fascism go hand in hand together. We don't talk about that, you see? And so, when you talk about human rights, that's a fairly new, just like you said, they're not humans. Your God says they're not humans. No, we have to have a human solution here. Because if you talk about God and, you know, God told me to tell everybody right. on this I mean, panel to give me $1,000. Now, how do you verify that? That's not a human solution, Gideon. Even, no, well, even, even, label, even labeling them as an abomination right. denotes a, a, a sense of you of know human, less than of, human. Of, of less than well, human. the abomination I mean? it's not a labeling them; it's the act itself. But, 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 there's, but there's more to sin, as we talked earlier, right. than homosexuality. Absolutely, right. okay. absolutely, we know so, that. And then also in terms of the principle and the and, and the preference right. in terms of what the law is saying and, and 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 what we should do the same people that are trying to pass these laws are trying to dictate to everyone what should be and what can't be we don't know what they're doing behind closed doors exactly. right. they may not That's be true. standing up holding a sign up with lgbt or marching for gay rights but we don't know what they're doing in their bedrooms like, and, like, I and i don't care I'm to know either right. but that's why you should not but i i do i still agree that they should be given human rights like everyone else right but i still go back to this color we that need I our, am, we need ours and I'm also, I'm but see you know, I want, uh, penny i want to hold you to the question that i asked though i, I laid out a platform for targeting the institutions that prohibit an individual that's supposed to have free rights right. to be able to determine who they want to insure and through their will determine who they want to pass their property. And it's, that's the double standard that we all know that's out there. It, 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 the standard is out there. It's t double and triple standards out there. When it comes to certain people, co people of color, right. when it comes to certain religious beliefs, yes. it depends on what mm -hmm. color your skin exactly. is, and what side of the tracks that you're on. Right. And and so in order and, and answering your question, I still do believe that the human rights should be given to everyone. everyone. Whether everybody uphold it or not. Right. But like this woman that they locked up for not issuing the licenses. Kim she Davis. should have been locked up. Yeah. Right. She was breaking the law. She was breaking the law. Yeah. She was well, breaking then, the in law. essence, you agree with me then. And, and now, let's get to that question that you had briefly. Uh, the, the one on the one page paragraph you just asked. Oh, and the human I just, rights? The human, uh, the, no, yeah, that was the, the human rights. I have a uh, totally different question now. Okay, go cool. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about the the hypocrisy, if you will. Of, of democracy? Of, of, of Kim Davis. Okay. Turn it. Gideon. <laughs> 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 um, 
<laughs> one of the major critiques uh, that Kim Davis has been receiving is the fact that uh, she's been divorced three times. All right. right? Yeah. And yeah. You, we all know that the Bible says that divorce is a no-no, right? And so her spouses were Dwayne Wallace from 84 to 94, Joe Davis from 96 to 04, Thomas McIntyre, 07 to 08, and then she remarried Joe Davis in 2009, and she's with him currently. And he supports his wife in her... That 80K. You know, right, and not, <laughs> and not issuing the licenses. So hmm? is there some hypocrisy there? You know, because, you know, marriage is supposed to be held sacred. You're not supposed to get divorced, according no, to... That's, see, well, that's no, a, that's see, a that's a misunderstanding. misunderstanding. Yeah, like you can here. get a divorce in... in in uh, the Hebrew community, you have okay. you can get a divorce. Divorce is uh, it's not mandated. It's it's something that is uh, as specific to certain conditions that are, you're not supposed to, but it's allowed. I'll do. That's it what right the there. sisters that but, make. I mean, what? Yeah, was I even I wish you. There are certain I there are certain you. But even earlier, you. when you mentioned someone, which one of you mentioned about the uh, Catholics and so forth, and mm -hmm with all of the wrongs and hypocrisy that has gone on in the Catholic community. Oh, yeah, most right. definitely. The different, uh, what do you call them? Uh, Pedophilia. Pedophilia. Right, right, and so I'm just, and so mm, it's, it's, it's all like. The debauchery. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just a lot of double standards across the board when it comes to race, mm -hmm. when it comes to your religious preferences, the side of the tracks you on, if you got money, if you don't have money. Exactly. If you have money, you can do anything you want to do. That's, exactly. that's what America portrays to me. Exactly. Yeah, when you have yeah, money, I mean, you can do anything you want to well, do. That's pretty much well, right. I think we get or get out of anything that you want to get out of. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I think, yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah. what gets us as a black community sidetracked because we have to have like you, you talk about the Jewish leagues you know you, uh, try to make a movie depicting Jews in a yeah, bad light they're right. going to be all over you but mm -hmm. uh, sisters all up and down the street talking about oh, I'm going to see the perfect stranger mm, yeah oh yeah I'm the glad black you are definitely yeah, yeah. blasting the black bashing man bashing the black man always we don't yeah. get enough Black bashing, you want to go see the perfect man, really? Exactly. Hollywood, you want to yes. judge me based on the movie? Anyway, that's what Well, remember the ones with Idris Elba <laughs> oh, and yeah. the, the lady. And Beyonce. Uh, yeah, was it Beyonce? It I thought it was Beyonce. the one right. that was uh, on the uh, Empire. That's the star of Empire mm -hmm. now. But Beyonce yeah. and Idris. Taraji. Yeah, Taraji. But the point that I'm making, Penny, is that we have to have uh, safeguards. We have to have political forces. We have to have finance. we have to have everything in place to really make this fight. We sit there and complain, philosophize, theorize, Absolutely. debate each other, but we don't put boots on the ground when it comes up talking about fighting for our. But we do rights. put boots on the ground. This do is we? the point I'm making. I'm saying you, that we are. Well, don't, you've seen me fight. Don't. You've seen the, I've gone to the judiciary and fought. The, the thing fought. that we're fighting for, or in my estimation, should be our identity, our culture, you, our ancestry, because this is, <laughs> so what, in this country, so, so what, they have been muddled. You know, but, but you know what's we wrong with that? We end up fighting for the people that's trying to kill us. You know what's wrong with that? The only ones who agree with that, and even in y'all faction, the Hebrew, are the Hebrew Israelites. Mm -hmm. Black people, we got more concerns than just, oh, I want to change my name and my identity, and I'm black. No, <laughs> it's bigger than that. Well, yeah. they, what uh, the Penny has that. just been indicating it throughout, and I believe all I of mean, us can black agree, matter, that we right. have, we are being marginalized in this country, so not we, only economically, right, but so uh, educationally, educationally right, so we didn't need to politically, 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 I in mean, in every aspect, every aspect. Right. Every every aspect. So on one hand, we know that we're being marginalized. You're going to join the killer just because the killer look good while he killing? And he killing people that look like you. We got to You got one minute, you know, boss. I don't we gotta mind killing. Just wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Like, like I said, I don't mind. I'd like to get some rebel forces in the Congo, take over the cobalt, drink the oil, the oil, and the black power. And, and, yeah, hey, put make, sure, make sure you I, make sure you inoculate while you're in the yeah, Congo. Oh, well, they've already done that, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> I, just that, hold on, hold on. I just believe that we should, as a as a culture, as a people. We need to oh, we, keep going. Keep going. We need to stand up. Uh -huh. We need to continue to speak out and right. speak up, right. and not sit back and wait for other people to do it. Like something. Oh, somebody should do something about that. Mm -hmm. We are somebody. That's right. right. We can. Uh -oh, look out that. now. Right. We, uh, give me a high five on that. Right, we, uh, Jesse said that first. The revolution <laughs> will be televised. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 yeah.
black sun in the hizzle. Oh, for shizzle dizzle. We got an excellent show here today, but first I'm gonna say to you, 